what do projections really do when you go through the process? The goal is to get your business out of your brain and into an objective tool that's going to allow you to ask the right questions, to stress test, you know, what if clients won't pay $50 a month, but they'll pay 35? What does my business look like then? It also is important for you to be able to set some milestones and understand the resources that you need to get there. And then lastly, it helps you make better decisions because you're making decisions based on data, not just based on a feeling. Don't get me wrong, feelings are important. Um, and you know, gut feelings can inform your decisions, but ultimately you need to marry that with data. And by focusing on your business with this objective viewpoint, you also are going to become a better investor in your own business, which then makes it much easier for you to communicate with other investors because you're kind of in the same seat they are, right? You're trying to understand where best to put the capital in your business so you can get the best outcome. The reasons that I'm saying all of this is because ultimately everything that you do is an investment. Remember at the beginning when I said, hey, tell me what it would what it would be like, uh, what would make today a win for you. That's because actually the hour that we're gonna spend together is an investment. Your time, your energy, your money, your reputation, your network, all of the connections that you have, those are all assets that you own. And when you choose to invest them in something, you need to be sure that you understand what a reasonable return on that investment is. Now, of course, I'm not saying, you know, everyone needs to pay you for every minute of your time. That's not reasonable. But you need to go into uh, a meeting or a, a partnership or even a transaction with a very clear understanding of what value you're going to get in return. And the reason that's important is because it can also help you decide, wait a minute, this thing that I've been doing because I've, excuse me, because I've always done it, I need to quit doing that because it's not actually giving me a good return on my time. Things like scrolling through Facebook, which I know none of us ever do when we're having a bad day, um, you know, or just mindlessly looking at uh, whatever it is that you, that you happen to be doing in the middle of your day because, uh, because you don't know what's next on your agenda. Now, again, we don't have to go too far with this, but I want you to understand that developing this investor mindset is also a big part of what the projection is going to help you do if you do it right. Now, that requires an investment of your time and your energy, but ultimately investing time and energy in just understanding your business better and into identifying the specific things in your business that are gonna help you move forward fastest is a very good investment, right? And the advantage is once you understand it, then you're able to make decisions and take action a lot more quickly because you're not sitting there stuck trying to figure out what might work. You actually have a much clearer idea of what does work. So we've covered now why a financial projection is important. Investors and bankers want to see it because they need to understand, can you make money? Do you understand what your you know, position in the market is, how you might uh, generate revenue, what your expenses are going to be and what your cash needs are. And if you want to, I would suggest that you also include any kind of visuals that you're going to use for your deck in that same projection file. So everything is tied together. But I would argue that the more important element of building a financial projection is for you, right? It helps you analyze your own plan. It helps you do some stress testing before you invest real money so you can figure out you know where's the best place to put the the limited funds the limited resources that i have and it's going to ultimately develop this investor mindset and make you a better investor in your business and if you can go to an investor and say to them hey i started with a hundred thousand dollar investment and i took that hundred thousand dollar investment and turned it into two hundred and fifty thousand dollars of revenue that's an invest that's a that's a conversation that an investor is going to be interested in right they're going to they're going to listen to how you talk about it and they're going to say wow this is very different from what i usually hear and so that's why going through this process is worth your time and your energy because ultimately it's going to help you run your business better and then if you choose to go and look for asset capital it's also going to set you apart and make you a lot more attractive investment opportunity